All right, good morning, everybody. I wanted to do a little update here on the CNC machine. I'm just a, just a couple hours away here from putting the enclosure together, and it's kind of hard to, to see some of the features in the machine once all the covers are on, so I thought I'd maybe just make a quick video here and uh, kind of get that down before we move on. So, let's see. Generally, the I've got the monitor just hanging on the left side of the column right now where the tool changer will someday be, but it'll actually be on the other side uh, once it's uh, once the enclosure's there to support it. But let me start with the covers here. That's kind of what I've been waiting on. So, got the telescoping Z-axis cover. It's all bolted on. The side skirts attached. Uh, so that'll go all the way down to uh, four and a half inches, I guess, is the minimum height. Okay. I can just move it up and down here for you a little bit. So, heading on down. She works pretty good. Opens and closes, and I think I'll. Um, my coolant line comes out here, and I'm gonna make a little manifold there. Maybe I'll just have a kind of a little bit of a spray on the back there, um, you know, continuously just to keep it flushed clean. So I'm hoping that works good. Uh, the Y-axis cover. Um, is on and I finally got my rubber strips here where I got a seal here it's kind of a you know, labyrinth uh, lays down as the wiper and I didn't leave enough gap here to, to do the same thing on the sides um, with eighth inch buna so I could probably do it with some thinner material but for now I just uh, cut these things and put some slots in them and just pushed them in until they were rubbing on the sides. So I think that'll do a decent job of keeping them wiped. And it's not critical, it's just uh, trying to keep it clean on the inside there. So, move it forward here a little bit. Let's see how it goes back and forth. I did put a little bit of grease down on there just to help the rubber not to get sticky. And it seems to slide pretty good. And it seems to wipe pretty good. I mean, shoot. Uh, might stay pretty clean. We'll have to see. Same thing on the back there. So, that uh, keeps all the Y stuff clean. And you know, obviously up underneath there is the servos and the ball screws and linear bearings and all the good stuff. Now on the x-axis, um, the way I designed that was I just have some skirts on the side here that bolt to the table and they move with the table and that keeps uh, the chips between, it keeps out of the, you know, the, the bearings on the linear bearings for the table and then when the table since I've got so much travel on this table when it's all the way in positive or you know extreme condition the uh, gotta have these overhangs here to protect the ends uh, you can cool it dripping down and getting on the motor and limit switches and stuff so that's what those are Makes the table look a little bit bigger, but still, it's only 24 inches of travel. And what else we got here? Um, let me get through the. I tried to clean up all my wiring here on the 
control box and the computer and the um, that's a coolant line run. I still have to run my airlines uh, through the cable track there <clears throat> for the eventual cylinder on top that will actuate the drawbar. Cabinets, you know, basically done. I've got my CNC controller just mounted on the door and uh, control signals and et cetera go to the kind of my main distribution block there. And from there it feeds uh, all the CNC information goes to these drives, feeds the AC drives. All the I.O. is going through uh, right now just two um, relay modules because <clears throat> the controller only works in uh, 5 volt you know, TTL signals. <clears throat> so I'm using this one for 110 items and this one is uh, for 24 volt uh, you know, for my valves and things. Uh, also have the analog signals going to the uh, VFD for my spindle speed and direction. And uh, yeah, everything else is just uh, contact contactors and fuses and things. Got my little fan in there to uh, keep the cabinet cool. So it'll suck air in and blow it out to the other side. Probably don't need such a big fan. Probably find something a little quieter. And I just rigged up a temporary e-stop there for now. Uh, I'll mount it on the enclosure once that gets done. That came out pretty good. So, uh, like I said, next will be the putting the enclosure on there so I can uh, yeah, run a little coolant, run the pump, and uh, I guess before I go any further than that, I'll I really just do lots of cutting and playing and testing. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if I have to take some things back apart here, and, uh, depending on how it does. Because all I've really tested with it so far is just dry cutting. And uh, it'd be nice to get a little coolant going in there. So, All right, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.